Hi, welcome back, friends. In the previous class, we have created this beautiful slider, and it is fully working. See here. Now, in this class, I'm gonna creating some different section. So first, take a look. Then we'll move further. Friends, in this class, I'm gonna creating this beautiful section called service, which is containing the title, heading text paragraph text and the icons at the very bottom you can see how beautiful effect it is getting this is called flipping effect so in this class i'm gonna creating this beautiful section called service from various scratch and for creating this we will use html5 and css3 only so without any further ado let's get straight to the video right now i am on the index page just going at the way down there we will do the everything from various scratch here i am creating the section which will contain custom class so very first mentioning section and giving a class name to it like service underscore section you can put any class name whatever you prefer this time i am putting the class called container from the bootstrap and also the row from bootstrap this time we need some column so here i am mentioning call lg12 12 column with large size getting here now I am putting text center to align all the things at the center. This time we need some heading tag like H4 and the custom class called dark. Okay. This will contain the name like title service. Okay. Now we need H2 tag which will contain some different class. Okay. So here I am mentioning section underscore title and then I am putting some text inside this. Dummy text actually. Okay. Now I am just indenting it. we need some line break so here i am putting br tag to get some line break okay now after the heading tag like h2 we will tag p tag which will contain some dummy text again inside this i am putting the class called color underscore triple a here i am putting dummy text like lorem 18 i need 18 words of lorem ipsum that means dummy text we need with 18 words yep if I show in the browser, then we will get this text right there. Okay. Now after this row, I am taking extra spaces for the different work. Here I am taking row. This will contain custom class. Okay. A spelling must be correct. Okay. We put custom column inside this. Again, I am putting some div. This will contain the class of the column. Like call as a three call sm3 or 4 all the classes what I am putting here all are from bootstrap okay inside this I am taking anchor link which will contain some classes okay so here I am putting class called box and text center this is from the bootstrap okay box is undefined class and text center is the bootstrap class just coming inside the anchor link and here I am putting div with class called flipper this class is not existing anywhere okay here i am mentioning div and this will contain the class called front this will contain the icon and the front text okay i have already linked font or some icons okay so this time we need to call the icon so i am putting i tag with f a class font awesome inside this i am putting class name for the fonts so here i am mentioning f a check a square Oh, so we'll get check icon there. Now we need some heading text. So here I'm mentioning H3 and the name like website development. Okay, if I show in the browser, then definitely we'll get all the things right there. As you can see, we are getting the icon, but all the text, whatever I have put here, are not visible here. You know why? Because the color is white. So for that, what I'll be doing. Coming back to the style.css, before going to there, you can see we have very first class called service underscore section. Just calling there to put some color inside that, okay. Here, I am putting dot and the class name, okay. Here, I am putting color like something like this. If I show in the browser, then we will get, see here, we are getting here right now i'm on the index page and working for the rest icons okay so we have put front here now we need the back 
So you might have noticed whenever I am putting my mouse pointer over the icon, we are getting flip effect and the color for the icon and the text has got changed. So likely that I am just calling a class here called back which will contain same icon name and the text. Only the class will get changed here. Okay. So we have put front and back already. Right now we have to work for rest icons and the text. So we have this column right here. Just after this, we'll keep duplicating it four more times. Just selecting it and pressing Ctrl plus D or Command plus D to duplicate it. Here we'll change the font name or font class name and the name actually. So we have fonts here. Just removing from here and putting here diamond. So we'll get diamond icon there. And here I'm changing the name. Now I'm copying this part and just pasting inside this. Now again I'm duplicating it. Okay. Changing the icon class name here. This time I'm putting clock. Clock O. And this will be containing some different name. So friends, finally we put all the markup for the service section. Let's have a look. See, all the icons are coming up right here. Right now we have to work for the styling to a style beautifully in the style.css. So we'll be doing it right now. Okay. First, I'll be removing all the extra spaces which we don't need right here. Just remove it. It's looking kind of weird, isn't it? Okay. Now, very first class, we have service underscore section, which is right here, okay? So for this, we'll use some padding, okay? And after using padding, everything we'll keep doing, okay? Just coming to the style.css and mentioning. So here, I'm putting padding something around 50 pixel, okay? If I show in the browser, See here, we are getting gapping. Okay, we need even more. So just putting 150 pixel. Okay, it's cool. Now, very second class, we have dark class. Okay, so I'm using dark class to change the color for the title. Okay, so here I'm mentioning dark, which will contain the color like deep sky blue, or I'm putting hex color code like 00BCD4. Okay, after this we have another class that is called sec title or the section title. Okay, so sec title. I'm just calling you. Let me show you. Here we have section underscore title just coming inside the style.css footing font size 50 pixel line height 60 pixel. We'll get some line height there. Font weight something around bold or the thin letter spacing 2 pixel text transform uppercase so we'll get all the text as uppercase we need some margin like 00 25 pixel and also we need some padding like 14 pixel and 0 color should be something around this if i show in the browser we'll get see here we are getting and it is truly amazing isn't it now you can see all the text is coming in one line so what i'll be doing coming to the index page just putting some line break here you can see we have lorem ipsum just deleting it and mentioning a lorem 20 okay and here i am putting br tag to get some line break okay and also we will change its color okay so coming back to the bracket and we have a class called color underscore triple a just copying it coming back to the style.css and here i am pasting 
this will contain some color like gray dim gray or dark gray whatever dark gray is perfect okay friends we have done the basic changes right now we have to work for the row so you can see we have row here which is containing the custom class called custom column and it is also getting some columns here okay so i'm just calling all the column with row class here i am taking extra spaces to define the things very first putting row which will be containing the custom class custom underscore column inside this we have called lg3 friends why i am putting all the column right here because we need to put some a specific width and a flex property that's why i am calling all the column and custom row class here okay inside this we have column some four which is containing the four column with medium size after this we have call md3 medium Friends, LG stands for large, SMS stands for small, MD stands for medium. Okay, these are the sizes for the responsive devices. Okay, inside this very first I am putting width which will contain 20% and here I am using important to remove all the privileges from the bootstrap classes. I am using a flex like 0, 0, 20%. right now we'll target some different class as you can see we have another class that is box so this box class will contain some properties from the css3 like display position width background everything so just coming to the style.css and mentioning a box which will be having some display property like inline block position should be relative width should be 100 percent now i'm putting background after this I'm putting perspective like 1000 and then I'm using a transform style preserve 3D and also we need some transition effect okay so here I'm using transition like all is and duration should be 400 millisecond okay if I show in the browser then we'll get nothing because we did not use any hover state till okay this time I'm targeting another class Okay, so we have box class inside this we have flipper. So I'm targeting this flipper class by calling the box class as a main. So just coming to the style.css mentioning here box dot flipper. This will contain some transform origin like 100% and 213.5 pixel to get some area. To box like okay and also i'm putting margin top like 50 pixel now if i show in the browser then we'll get definitely see we are getting some area and also we are getting some margin top like 50 pixel you can even increase its value here i'm mentioning 80 pixel or 60 pixel it's up to you this time i have to work for the another class as you can see we have front class back class okay so just i'm targeting this to change the font family or font size for the icons okay so coming back to the style mentioning box front inside <clears throat> inside the front class we have i tag which will which is containing the fonts okay so just duplicating it and changing the class like back and i this time i'm putting font size something around 60 64 pixel and also I'm putting line height to this like one and then color should be something different okay display should be block margin bottom 17 pixel you can keep on changing its value transition value will be again the same as I have put above here I'm mentioning is see we are getting right here now we need to target the heading tag which is coming inside the icon let's have a look you can see we have h3 okay so this h3 just calling there i am coming to the style.css and right now mentioning the class called main class box front h3 h3 okay this will contain some font size like 16 pixel line height 20 pixel and also I'm putting font weight 400 text transform uppercase so we'll get all the text as uppercase 
and also I'm putting color to this like something like gray color margin should be zero and again I'm putting transition just copying it and pasting inside this This time I'm just targeting this flipper class only. Okay, so I'm coming back to the style.css mentioning flipper. Here I'm putting transform properties like perspective 1000 pixel. Transition should be 0.6 second. It's duration. Okay, transform style preserve 3D and position should be relative. Now we have two classes which is existing on the index space called front and back. So both classes I'm just calling the together. Okay, so here I mention front back. Okay. Here I'm putting back face visibility hidden. So we'll not get any back icon here. Only we'll get on the hover. Okay. Transition should be 0.6 second again and also I'm putting transform style preserve 3d transform rotate y 0 degree okay and then I'm putting position absolute top should be 0 left will be 0 let's have a look yes you can see we have removed all the icons and the text which are coming behind okay in the back okay now I am calling the class called front which will be containing some background properties like transparent okay and also I am putting here transform rotate y to 0 degree you can use also the prefixes so just duplicate it and add here webkit mouse opera like this now after the 0 degree I am going to adding I am going to add in Z index too. Border should be 2 pixel its thickness and its weight will be solid and its color should be RGBA which contains transparency. So here I have put RGBA red, green, blue, alpha. I am putting red value like 27 pixel or just I am putting 27. Green value will be 27 again rest will be 27 and alpha should be 1 this time we need some padding okay so this time i'm putting 48 pixel for the top right left and bottom all the values putting together and also i'm putting width like 100 percent 100 percent let's have a look how it's coming see we are getting everything visible and also we are getting the border around to this. Now I'm gonna work for the back. So just mentioning the class called back and this will contain background. Here I'm putting transform rotate y like minus 180 pixel for the rotation. Position should be relative. Padding should be 45 pixel or 48 pixel. Here I'm putting This time we will put some border to this like 2 pixel its thickness will be weight will be solid and the color should be something like the deep sky blue okay. Here I am putting width like 100% if I show in the browser then we will get nothing let me show because we did not use any hover state till. You can see here it's something weird isn't it. We have used background back like this.
right now I'm gonna changing the color for the back okay so what I'll be doing I'm just calling the main class called box it is containing the class back and also we have heading tag like h3 we have to change the heading text color and also we have to change the icon color so icon is available inside the i tag inside this i am putting color like white if i show in the browser then we'll get definitely let's have a look yep friends as you can see we are getting nice hover effect but still we are getting some issues you can see we are getting text decoration to the menu and the text so i'm just removing it we have anchor link which is containing the box class inside this we have text center let's have a look first on the markup here on the index space as you can see we have anchor link which is containing the box class inside this we have text center so i'm calling anchor link box and text center together to change the text decoration okay so here I'm mentioning text decoration like none now let's have a look yep friends finally we did it see here we are not getting any decoration there and it is working really cool I hope you got that so friends in this class we have created this beautiful service section and it is truly amazing isn't it now in the next class, I'll be creating some different section. 